Uh, my name is Chris Elphick. Um, I'm a conservation biologist and ornithologist. And I've been studying the birds in Long Island Sound marshes for the last 10 or 15 years. And increasingly, our studies have expanded beyond just studying the birds, but also studying the habitat and trying to understand how the habitat is changing and um, trying to understand whether this habitat will be here um, into the future. So we're at uh, Barn Island Wildlife Management Area in Stonington, Connecticut. We're interested in trying to understand um, what affects these marshes because they're limited in area. There are uh, certain species that uh, really depend on them and will go extinct if these marshes um, are not here. So when most people think of sparrows, they think of house sparrows, which you see in the city, running, hopping around on the sidewalk or maybe coming to your bird feeder. But there are actually um, dozens and dozens of species of sparrows in North America. Um, and salt marsh sparrow is uh, just one of, of many different species. We know that the marshes are changing and we know that the birds are likely to go extinct if they change in the direction that they seem to be changing. And we know that these things are consistent with what we would expect to see from sea level rise. And we also know that sea level rise is going to keep on increasing for, uh, for the next few decades. So with rising sea levels, the frequency with which nests are likely to flood is going to go up. Um, and that means that the birds face a very uncertain future because the, the more of these uh, really high tides that we get, the more frequently nests are flooded and, and chicks drown. And that leads to um, reduced reproductive success in these birds. And without reproduction, you know, eventually the population is going to decline. And because salt marsh sparrows are particularly sensitive to those flooding effects, they're like an early warning system. They're like the canary in the coal mine. Um, in that they tell us that things are changing um, and they will be affected before everything else is affected. And so by studying this one species that most people um, have probably never heard of, we can learn something about the entire marsh system and how these marshes are going to fare into the future.